What is Venice AI? Venice AI essentially connects various AI tools and models within a single platform. As you can see, I've greeted Venice and it offers many options. A key feature is its privacy. What we say here won't be used to improve or train models, nor will any information be stored. That's the beauty of this tool, right? That's Venice AI. As you can see, Bench AI offers various features like chatting, image generation and coding. In the chat section, you'll notice an option to switch models in the top left. For text, I've chosen the 70 billion parameter Llama model. With Pro Access, you'd ideally use the 671B DeepSeed or Llama 3.1 models. For images, we've selected XL. Flux or Stable Diffusion Pro would be better. For code, we're using QN2.5, which is decent. QN is fine, but it doesn't quite match up to Anthropic's offering. These are all open source models that they run locally which is how they ensure privacy for users. They process data on their servers and presumably delete it after. That's how we can switch between different AI models. We might be using Benesai's reasoning models. Basically, we create a new chat, select text conversation and choose whether to allow web access. In the top left text section, we can pick Yama with 3 billion parameters for faster processing or Yama 3.3 for internet searches and more. As you can see, there are many more options with Pro. So let's ask it about studies on music in video games, since it has web search. It'll start telling me about existing studies. No links yet, let's see if I can request them. I won't check the answer quality, as that's not the point. This ultimately depends on the model, not Venus. Venice just connects things, that's all. It seems to have sent links, but they're incorrect. This depends on the model, okay? I repeat, oh well, this might work. As you can see, we can copy, encrypt, and share this conversation. Watch out. We can delete, report, regenerate, shorten, or expand the tech. Interesting. Let's shorten it. Okay, cool. They also have a feature that lets you listen to response. Pretty cool, but you need Pro for that. So yeah, that's how we can interact with this tool. All right, how can we generate images with Venice AI? Let's go to the chat section, click here, and select image. As you can see, I've selected flux standard in the model section. If we go to settings, we can adjust the model parameters a bit. I know what style I want, right? Let's go for a more anime-like style. We'll set it and the image config is a bit advanced, but it lets us change aspect ratio. I'll set it to square. What file format? Let's go with PNG. Adherence to what we've set as the prompt. I'll set it low so it can be more creative. We can see various other settings here. Processes at maximum. Remember, more processes mean higher resource usage. Same goes for text, but I didn't mention it as there's not much to do. And with code, it's similar. Now it's set up, we can reset if we're not happy with it. So let's ask it to create an image of a dragon flying in the clouds. We'll see how long it takes to generate if it does it well and if we can extract the image. Remember, this will take time based on the model we've selected. It's not so much about how long it takes the AI. I've chosen an anime style for this. It's made the image. And as you can see, I have options to regenerate it. We can get info on the image showing all the settings used. Pro users can upscale or we can delete the image. So that's how we can generate images with this tool. How can we use Benny's AI for coding? We go to the chat section, select code here. Within models, we have different code options. In settings, we can modify the model too. Allow web browsing if the model supports it. Add a system prompt if desired. Not much else really. We can adjust temperature for result randomness. I can ask it to program snake. I've asked it to code snake playable in Benny's AI. I doubt it'll work, right? Let's see if it responded. Can Benny's AI run HTML, CSS and TypeScript? It'd be cool if it could execute code internally. Seems possible, but I'm not too confident. Let's see, running the game. There's no run button anyway. Okay, well there's a copy button, so it works okay, but no run button. Let's try running it. I'll ask it to create an HTML logo. This should all be in one script. Hope it doesn't make multiple. It's making multiple again. I guess it's more an AI issue. And there we have it, okay? I've got this here to add code. It won't let me run it. Shame, I'd like to run it. If Benny's AI sees this, a prompt enhancer would be cool, okay? To improve the prompt, some AI tools have this feature. That'd be cool. AI-based prompt improvement, right? Based on the AI model you're using. Maybe as a pro feature, huh? I mean, I don't mind. Anyway, that's what Benny's AI does. All right, how can we create or chat with a character in Venice AI? Truth is, this feature is a bit random. The beauty of Venice AI is its complete privacy. I get the character concept, but it seems a bit arbitrary. But hey, they tell us right here, don't they? Private, uncensored, self-generated, and more. To create a character, we just click the plus sign. As you can see, we need the pro version. Not sure if we need pro to chat with them too. They give us a URL, presumably for chatting, so everyone can talk to it, right? Oh, never mind, the URL was just for show. Okay, that's cool. 
you can chat with the character and all that. So yeah, that's how you can look. I can view, delete, or duplicate the chat. That's how it can be done. Click seal to see all characters if you notice. Not much else to it. And finally, let's look at the pro payment plan. Heads up, it's $150 a year or $20 monthly. Basically, it offers private use, character creation and sharing, API access, text to speech, access to the latest AI models, which is quite important unlimited text and prompt over 1000 images daily for $20. Wow, that's impressive. No watermarks, high res, double the points and disable safe mode, removing all censorship. Seems cheap, doesn't it? I'm amazed, not much else to say. I mean, $20 monthly for deep sea beats local mode. What can I say? It's a lot, right? Sure, you could run it locally, but it's not the same running 670 GB locally. You'd need a beast of a computer. There's limited model variety, true. Well, there are a few models, but there aren't many more out there. I'd like more image models, though. That's about it. So far, this tool is highly recommended.